So far, we've been looking at this flowchart um, with respect to individual sides. So we've been looking at mass to mole conversions and atom to mole conversions and vice versa. However, we have yet to look at going from mass land to atom land or going from atom land to mass land. And what one needs to understand is that we cannot directly um, convert between mass and atoms. Okay? So in order to convert from one side of the flowchart onto the other, you must go through the kingdom. Okay? So it will always be a multi-step process in order to do this conversion type. So in the problem that we see here, um, what they've asked us is to calculate how many atoms are present in 15 in a 15 gram piece of gold. Okay, so what that's telling us is that we've been given 15 grams and that they want us to get into atoms. Now, in order to go from mass land into atoms, we first need to go from mass to moles. So our first conversion is going to be a division, and then from moles uh, to atom land, which is going to be a process of multiplication. So what we're going to do is very similar to what we did before, it's just there's going to be additional steps. So the additional steps um, are obviously going to be um, carried out or could be carried out in a multi-step process. However, um, I'm going to show it to you in the sequential uh, format in order for you guys to get familiar and comfortable with this type of methodology. Okay, so just like we've seen in the past, we're going to have 15.2 grams of um, our gold, which has an element symbol of AU. Okay, so we're going to put that in that first box because that's our given. And then we're going to look at our first calculation. Our first calculation is going from mass to moles, okay, because I can't make a direct conversion between mass and atoms. So in order to go from mass to moles, I must divide by the molar mass of uh, gold. So I'm going to have one mole of AU up here, and I'm going to have the molar mass of gold, which off the periodic table is 1 point, or sorry, 196.96 grams of AU. Okay, and this conversion along alone, if I were to just do this calculation out, I would end up with just moles. Okay, so in order to go from moles to atoms, though, I must utilize um, Avogadro's number. Now, in order to get out of the kingdom, I need to multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of AU here, okay, and that's per one mole of AU. Okay, so notice the first situation we have here is the calculation for mass to moles, okay? The second calculation here is the conversion from moles to atoms. So I've written it out in a sequential manner but this is actually a two-step process. So when we go to do this calculation in our calculator, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 15.2 by 1, and then multiply it by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That answer is then going to get divided by the 1.9, excuse me, 196.96 times 1. Okay, and that's going to give us an answer of 4.647 times 10 to the 22nd, okay? Now, if we account for significant figures, um, we notice that our smallest number of sig figs is coming from our given, which is three sig figs, right? So we're gonna end up with 4.65 times 10 to the 22nd as our numerical answer. Now, we also need to do a dimensional analysis in order to figure out the units of our answer. So grams of AU and grams of AU are gonna cancel, moles of AU and moles of AU are going to cancel, and atoms of AU are what remains. So we'll write atoms of AU, okay? And this is our final answer. Notice we've gone from grams into atoms. That's what we see based on our dimensional analysis and our unit analysis, um, and we have the correct significant figures for our answers. So with the problem that we see here, um, they're asking us to calculate um, the mass in grams of 245 atoms of gold. So we're going from atom land into mass land. Okay, so in this situation, we're going to put our number of atoms of gold into our given box. 
right? Now, in order to go from Adam land to mass land, I first must get into the kingdom. So I must get into moles. Now, since I'm starting in Adam land, I need to divide by Avogadro's number. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms AU for every mole of AU. Okay. And then... I'm going to go from the mole kingdom into mass land. And anytime I'm, leaving, or anytime I'm leaving the kingdom, I'm going to be multiplying. And in this case, I'm going to be multiplying by the molar mass. Okay, so the molar mass of um, gold is as follows per one mole, as we saw in our previous problems. Okay, and what we're going to do, once again, is multiply all of the top numbers together and then divide by the numbers that are on the bottom which should give you the final answer of 8.01 times 10 to the negative 20th grams of 